yeah, let's let's try to get into this. I feel like we picked a good car as well. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that is satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty fun. <laughs> All right, let's go for a big drift here. Oh god, we're going right into the wall. <laughs> oh god. guys welcome back to the channel today we are back in a little bit more eight driver car racing we haven't played this game in a while last time we did we actually built my real life car in the game which was pretty cool we got a subaru wrx we drove it in first person all that good stuff but today the game has received an update with a brand new map and also i think the developer reached out to me and hooked me up with a little bit of in-game credits so today the plan is to check out the new map and buy some expensive cars. So let's jump in. This is obviously the map menu here. You guys can see we got an update to the drag race. We have the classic town and city, bunch of other areas as well, but the new map is actually this drift park. So we're gonna check that out today and see what we think. Now, one aspect of the game that we never really tried was drifting. So this is gonna be completely new territory. When I played this game before, we just sort of explored, raced, and drove around. So this time we're gonna try to drift. I think they gave me some money, but I can't see it here. So uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, we have plenty of money. Okay, uh, in that case, let's make a new car. We basically have an untapped amount of money here, so we should probably buy whatever the heck we want. Um, I think the most expensive car is this Aventador, and it says it's new as well, which is really cool. Uh, 400,000. Let me see if there's anything more expensive. Oh, wait, they do have a Bugatti Chiron. We could go for this. Hmm, I think I'll save that for another video. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to buy the new Aventador, but I wanted to first buy something that is rear wheel drive, something that obviously a lot of people know about, and I think this Sylvia will be completely fine. Let's take this out. Uh, and let's see if we can customize it first. Now, the main thing I want to adjust is our tire grip. I would like the rear grip to be like minus and be very slippery. Okay, there we go. And let's go back. Uh, what else could we do to improve the drift performance? I guess more engine mods would help as well. So let's make this thing a, a twin turbo. Let me see, is there any other performance mods we could do? I feel like we should get some more low end torque. So maybe if we get um, a different kind of transmission. Oh, what the heck? Okay, there's a bunch of different body mods for this car. So I feel like we should probably spend a minute and just make this thing a fun little drift car. So let's go with the, uh, the full package here. Oh, they even have a Rocket Bunny front bumper. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, what should we go with? Oh man, I kind of like this better. Okay, I'm gonna go with this full Yashio kit. Uh, it looks really good, so we're gonna go with that. Oh man, I did not know this game had body kits. That's very cool. Yo, they even have taillights as well. Look at that, you can tint out your taillights. I guess we could do that for 50 bucks, why not? And then you can even tint the headlights as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the default though, I'll keep them there. Alrighty guys, check this thing out. I feel like we should have adjusted the wheel spacing and stuff. All right, here we are in the drift track. Okay, I'm excited to see how this works. Now this is a new map, so obviously it's gonna be quite popular, but uh, yeah, let's do a race here. Alrighty guys, let's give this a shot here. So I have not tried to drift in this game yet before, but I feel like it's actually quite intuitive. Uh, obviously having these really slippery tires makes a difference as well, but uh, yeah, let's let's try to get into this I feel like we picked a good car as well uh, Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that is satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty fun <laughs> uh, If you guys want to try this game out, of course, I'll leave a link in the description down below I will say at low speeds these tires barely move the car now apparently this game gets a, an update every week either on a Monday or Sunday which is pretty cool. Oh wow, okay, whoops. Now one of the main components of this game is actually earning like drift XP. You guys can see we've actually got uh, 700 drift XP so far, which isn't a lot, but it is definitely a good start. So as we drift, you guys will see we'll gain points just like that and a little bit of XP as well. Uh, I'm not sure what the XP does. I think it maybe lets you unlock certain cars, but yeah, that's pretty cool as well. I gotta say the community here is really, really nice. Thanks for uh, inviting me to do a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that my drifting skills could use a little bit of improvement. Um, I can definitely practice. I just wanted to see. I didn't even know what kind of map this was gonna be, so uh, I'll definitely give this a little bit more practice, but this is a lot of fun. I, this, this game kind of reminds me of uh, Drift Paradise, but the difference between Drift Paradise and this game is there's more than just drifting you can drift and the drifting is definitely pretty fun but i think there's a lot more going on in this than in that game now i feel like we could get more power out of this car we only make 250 horsepower right now 
But at the moment, I mean, I don't really need more power. I kind of just need to practice. Um, all right, let's kind of hit this slide. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got to get a little bit more used to this. There we go. That's a little bit better. The GTR kind of ruined my shot there, but okay, well, we didn't hit the curb. All right, should we try to do this in first person? I can barely even do it <laughs> in third person, but let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to drift this thing. First person drifts. Oh god, oh god, okay, that is that is a lot scarier. You know what's weird though is it's actually kinda more controllable in first person. I feel like I know what's happening a little more. Look at that, alright, hold on. Let me do one lap in first person and then we'll move on. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Because I can actually see where the steering wheel is, which kinda makes it a little bit easier for me. Okay, wait, we're still in it, we're still in it. Hold on a second, let me see if I can hit this one. Oh, snap, okay, wait, if I hit the handbrake... Does my player actually, like, grab the handbrake? Hold on. Oh, he does! Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I like that. Um, alright, hold on, let's go for this. I gotta hit this corner, this is a big one. And, come on, oh, there it is. A little bit of a drift. Hit here, oh my god, and I spun out. Oh boy. <laughs> alright, I promised you guys I was gonna buy the Aventador today. Now, I wanna say, obviously, I'm not good at this game yet. I haven't really given it a lot of practice, but... I will say it is very cool how uh, how there's so many detailed like performance modifications that really do make a difference. And overall, I think the customization is the most impactful in this game compared to a lot of other games. Like it actually makes a difference when you put mods on your car in this game, which is really cool. Just for the heck of it, let's like reduce a bunch of grip here. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can drift an Aventador, shall we? Raise the- oh wait, it just gave us a helpful tip. If we raise the first two gear ratios, it'll make the car drift better. Okay, that is super nice. I like the helpful tips like that. Alrighty guys, first person drifting uh, an Aventador in Roblox. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Never thought I'd say that, that's for sure. Um, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can like warm up a little bit in uh, this mode. Okay, I'm not sure how good of an idea this was to do. Uh, I gotta turn traction off, that's for sure. And because it's all-wheel drive, I don't really expect to be able to drift much. Oh god. You can sort of do it in this game, but not really. Here's the plan. We gotta fine-tune this car a little more. I'm gonna give it a little bit more rear grip so that it doesn't spin out as much as it currently is. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and do what it suggested, which is basically to change the first two gear ratios um, so that the car is actually gonna drift a little better. So we're gonna go with that. I guess we just tune them both pretty much like that. And other than that, I mean, we could change the springs. We could go with a little bit like softer springs, I guess. I'm not sure. So I fine tuned this car quite a bit here. I think it's going to be a little bit better. I like the car. I think we just got to get better at the game right now. Alrighty, guys, let's get back into this. Let's see if we can do better this time. I definitely feel like um, I do a lot better in first person. As you guys can see, that was not a bad drift. I'm not going to lie. I think the tunes that we've done to this thing is definitely helping. Hold on a second. Let's go. Being in first person has definitely helped me personally. Um, I just like that I can see the steering wheel. It's a lot easier for me to understand what's going on. Oh my god, look at that one-handed drifting too. I love it. You know what? This chassis is a lot of fun. I remember first playing this game and feeling like, okay, I, the game doesn't feel right to me. But now that you kind of get used to it, it's definitely quite good. Um, okay, is my traction off? All right. I can't tell which one's on and which one's off. I think this might be off. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. I feel like it might even be easier if we had a naturally aspirated V8 instead. Like, maybe like this charger here might be a little bit easier for us because we're getting most of our power while we're in boost, but we're not actually going to be in boost all that often uh, while drifting. So I, I feel like we could go with a V8 and, and be able to do this better. Look at this guy. Okay, wait, we're still both in it. All right, I'm going to see if I can keep up with him. All right, let's go for a big drift here. Oh God, we're going right into the wall. <laughs> Oh god. Also, if you guys didn't know, you could pop the hood of your car as well. I think the trunk and the doors, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely plan to get better at this, because this is actually quite a lot of fun. This map is very, very cool, so, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Check the game out for yourself. It's a lot of fun to play, and, uh, it's not exactly the easiest game, but I promise you, once you get good at it, it is very rewarding. So take care, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.